we definitely see it as as mobile, right? Definitely a mobile platform. Um, you've got two different pieces of hardware that we see sort of you, the doctor and his office staff and his nurse and his medical assistant using in their day-to-day -day operations. And the iPad we see is primarily the doctor's point of care tool. So it's super mobile and we see a ton of our users right now, they're using it in hospitals, they're going to make their assisted living rounds, they're going to nursing homes, uh, home visits, right? They're super mobile with their EHR on the iPad. And then that's, so that's just sort of one point of access for Dr. Chrono is the doctor's EHR on his iPad. That's one entity. That entity talks to his office staff's web-based practice management. So think of the practice management as like holding down the fort. It's on a computer. It can be on any kind of computer. So it can be on a PC. It can be on a Toshiba. It can be on a Mac. You know, whatever you want. Um, but this is a web-based practice management that talks to a doctor's EHR app on the iPad. So everything works together. It's not like these are separate entities. We, you actually have to use them all at the same time. Again, as I was explaining, you have the iPad and then you have a computer. Okay, computer is primarily staff and operations. iPad is primarily doctor EHR. Now to really confuse you, <laughs> I've got even one more, okay? So th just, I want you to have those two things, you know, in your head, right? Doctor, mobile, you, we're saving our doctors on average 10 to $20,000 in hardware costs because the doctor can be mobile with his iPad and he doesn't need a computer in every exam room, okay? But what I really want you to sort of understand is that that's talking to the operations team. So his scheduling, his billing, his appointments, all of these things are connected. There, and like I said, to confuse you, there's one more thing. So you have an EHR app, you need to go to the app store, you need to download an iPad EHR app, okay? You also should download, and it's free, you also should download a free patient app. This is for the patient check-in. Okay, this is in your waiting room. So you have an iPad app in your waiting room, and different doctors have different concerns about this. Some of them use a kiosk. So some of them have mounted the iPad in a kiosk. Um, and let me just put this in. Others are actually handing the patient the iPad. So they're no longer handing, if you use Dr. Chrono, you're not handing a patient a clipboard anymore. Okay, you're handing them an iPad. And they're actually able to fill out all of their demographics. So instead of your poor office staff having to do it, you actually can let the patient do it themselves. Okay, so once they take this, they're you know taking their own picture, they're editing their background data, they're editing, you know, their um, contact information, demographics. The beauty of this is that no office staff member has to do it. The patient's doing it, and that automatically syncs to the EHR and the practice management. Okay, so they're just sitting there in the waiting room filling all this out. Very straightforward, very simple. Um, you can have custom onboarding questions. I just got a call this morning from one of our really uh, active users and they're like, hey, you know, there are 10 questions that I ask um, that nobody else asks, right? When the patient first comes in, not in the room with the patient, like when the patient's just like, just starting off, just onboarding themselves. So we let you customize these questions. We give you some defaults. So like, hey, where'd you find me? Are you seeing any other specialist? Would you like online scheduling, right? So we're just sort of letting you g grab some data, grab some information. Now I have two questions in my chat right now. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off of mute. Cool, um, Stefan, are you on the call? Can you hear me? Yes, I am. Sweet, okay, cool, ask your question. It's actually a great question. Um, 
it's it's not right now. We are thinking about maybe in the future working at that. But right now we're really dedicated to the Apple platform. Specifically because just like statistically, like doctors, about 75% of them own either an iPhone or an iPad. And we've done the research on that. And that's definitely sort of the device and the company of choice right now. Um, in the future, we're not opposed to it. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's fine. Yes. Yep. So, mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, this computer side of it, right, the web based platform, you can use anything you want. Okay. It can be a Toshiba. It does not matter. Just have access to the internet. Okay. I've also got Andrew Phillips. Are you in, on the call? I, his question's really cool. He says he's sweet. Yeah, so you are based in Switzerland, right? Okay, awesome. And it says, go ahead. This is awesome because unfortunately right now we can't localize, but we just, we're in Silicon Valley. We've got a lot of really great connections with technology companies out here. And um, we're just, a, we're going to localize really, really quickly. And um, it's going to be super easy for us. So as soon as we do that, we'll make that available to the public. But to know that you can be there and be with us here right now is like the coolest thing ever. You know, and we, we see that happening all the time now. So I'll reach out to you personally after the call and we can just discuss when we think that we'll be able to localize and be able to offer this in different languages. Okay, thanks. Okay, so um, so far, so I'll leave you guys off of mute because it sounds quiet again. Um, if it gets loud, I'll, I'll put it on and then we'll just stop for questions, okay? So great, I think you understand that you have two apps, right? You have an EHR app, you have an onboarding app, and then you have the web-based practice management. And these three portals are, are working together. Everybody's sort of, and it, we really see the vision is that it's collaborative medicine, right? You create or the patient actually makes an addition to their medication here from the onboarding app. The doctor gets that addition on his EHR, okay? Now, if you take a look at, like, the insurance data, so right now you have the patient filling out their insurance information. This is also collaborative for your biller because the patient is filling out their insurance data. Now the second they leave, you can process that claim electronically right through us, which I'm, I'm going to show you in a second. Um, reasons for visits. This is completely customizable. Questions they have. Um, they can pull up their HIPAA. Okay, so you've got your HIPAA form right here. They can read their HIPAA, all right? And then they can say, yes, I agree. They take their finger and they sign off. So this was the first version of our onboarding app. It's doing really, really well. People are responding beautifully to it, exactly what all of our doctors told us would happen. So I'm glad we listened to them. But yeah, so the patient's onboarded and now you know the appointment is created and the doctor can see the patient, okay? So I just, you know, not to get you guys confused, I, I hate being all over the place. So I just want you to understand that you've got these two apps from the App Store. Okay, those are on an iPad. And then you've got the web-based practice management on the computer. Okay. We do offer, in, in terms of scheduling, there are some really innovative products that we offer. Um, even on our free account, if you use our practice management, then you get a free online scheduling widget. Okay, so you actually have a scheduling widget, and I'll just show you a blog post that we did on like what you can do with that, that you can put into your website. Okay, so you can take your schedule, put it into your website, and be able to attract, acquire new patients from that, right? Um, you can also take it in a HIPAA compliant way and put it into your new Facebook fan page 
or your Twitter page. And it just looks like this. It's just a widget. And new patients can choose a time that works best for them and we'll you know, create the appointment for you. So that's one of the innovative products we offer for scheduling. Um, another great thing is we also have an iPhone app that you can view your schedule on the iPhone app. Okay, so that's sort of nice. It's really mobile. It's in your back pocket. You can whip it out at any time. Uh, we also send patient reminders. So we send emails and we send phone calls and we send text messages. And you can be very, very, very specific on what you want to send this patient. So you might have like an email one day before, a phone call two hours before, and then maybe a text message 30 minutes before. And this is completely up to you. You do not have to use this. But we see that it's huge for patient turnover. As a patient myself, <laughs> I forget my doctor's appointments constantly, right? I, especially if it's like a follow-up or something. So these are super, super, super helpful, okay? You can also be very specific. If you have an older demographic, they definitely, they want nothing to do with emails and they want nothing to do with text messages. So you could just send them a phone call. You can be very specific. You just want a phone call to go out to them, okay? So this is, the, on the left-hand side, you have the scheduling, all right? One last thing about this is the digital Post-it note. This is a digital Post-it note connected to the doctor's iPad. So remember when you had like a big folder and you used to throw a note on there and it'd be like, hey, make sure that, you know, Caitlin, make sure Caitlin knows to check out before she leaves, right? It's just a quick note that the office staff used to have to tell the doctor very quickly on like a post-it or something. They even used like flashcards a lot. I don't know. I, I, I talked so much to my office managers, so it's like... I know a lot of sort of what went on, sort of hacking it. Um, but what we're doing is that we're trying to give you a way to do this through technology, right? Make it super e efficient. So when you log into the EHR, and I take a look, what time was that? Okay, yeah, so you see that this, this automatically pops up for you, right? So it'd just be a quick note for the doctor. In conjunction with those like digital post-it notes, we also do a live chat between the doctor on his iPad and the front desk. So he can be like, okay, at Jane, could you send Michael back? Send. Go here to yellow chat. And they receive this. Okay, so these are all really innovative ways that we're trying to help you with practice management. We're trying to facilitate doing things in a really simple way, but also in an intuitive and you know efficient way as well. Cool. Let me head back into here. Just want you to understand the web portal before we head over directly to the iPad. So you saw I kind of went through scheduling. You see what we're doing with that. Now billing is here on the right-hand side. So our company, we actually process claims to every payer in the United States of America. So even if that payer is like, no, 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 we don't accept electronic EDI claims, then we'll go ahead, we'll drop the claim to paper, and we'll send it out, you know, just manually for you. Okay? We use MDON. I'm going to put that in the chat because I always get that question. That is our clearinghouse, MDON. Okay? Hold on, let me just make it to all. I just did it to one. There you go. So we use MDON, okay? And this claim that you see here, and if you're familiar with billing, it's sort of probably interesting to you how this works. So this claim can get here in two different ways. Your biller can manually type it in. You know, she can sit here and type in strep and choose strep and add that to the ICD-9 for the patient for the day. What's super disruptive to the space and what's really, really sort of catching the doctor's eye is the doctor can be in the room with the patient and he can be doing his note and he can be doing his assessment and he's choosing that ICD-9, right? So he's in his assessment and he's searching for, you know, strep throat here and then he's choosing that code from here. Okay, and you can see that he can search through. Actually, let me show you the other rotation. 
So yes, we do billing from the web. That's sort of what's where like your billing software is located, but the doctor is in charge of his claim from the iPad and the biller will receive it on the web automatically. Okay. Now, uh, let me take, oh, I'm, you're not on mute. Stefan, you here? You have a question. Okay, go, go ask your question because everyone probably is wondering that too. I know. Unfortunately, at this time, you can't. Um, which one do you use? Because we can talk about that. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, if that happens, then we can definitely talk about something. We are thinking about in the future integrating with a couple of different ones. So, yeah, we can talk about that. Sure thing, sure thing. Um, so again, you're choosing your ICD-9 code from here, and then the doctor's in his billing, and he's choosing his CPT code from here as well, and then those codes are automatically appearing on the computer. All right. So from here, the biller can be like, all right, I have to add a modifier. I got to add a diagnosis pointer. The doctor put the wrong price in. I got to fix the price. We know how important your biller is. And we try to facilitate making her life a little easier so she can focus on getting you paid better, right? Getting you the money that you deserve. So from here, she can make these little, you know, changes. She can adjust the modifiers, diagnosis. She can delete a diagnosis if needed. And then a couple of other things. We do let her print. This is on the free account. So on a free account, she can print a paper claim on a free account. She can also print a super bill on the free account. Um, but for the Apollo program, if you really want to get snazzy, you can take this and press Bill Insurance, press Update and Close. The claim will now automatically be submitted to the payer. So now you've got 24 hours a day, you know, seven days a week access to this claim. Okay, so you're watching it go out, and then we're posting the electronic remittance advice back to the claim. So you're watching the electronic data interchange go out, and now for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can watch all your money post back. Now, I'm taking a really positive view on billing. I know that every two out of three claims are rejected. That's what the AMA states, two out of three. And then 50% of those rejected claims are not resubmitted. Okay, so I'm looking at the positive, like, yeah, you're watching the money post back. But there is a flip side that we're helping you with, too. So if, God forbid, you know, this is rejected, or if this says here, like, denied, we're going to send you an email in the morning. We're going to say, okay, you've got 10 rejected claims. This is what's wrong with them. So we give you, like, reason codes. We give you remark codes. We're telling you what's wrong with them, which enables you to then go into the claim, fix it, and then resubmit it. And we don't charge for resubmissions. You can just keep resubmitting until you are paid on every last claim. And because you have a claims report here, you can't avoid claims. No claim is going to disappear into claim land. This is a live feed. You have to work. These are actionable. Your biller or your office staff, like everyone's going to have to work each one or you're going to see, hey, this claim's just still sitting here. Okay. Um, if we do an hour training on billing, it's very in-depth. Billing in itself is not difficult, but very tedious. And I'm not going to spend too much more time on it. Um, if you want to attend that training, I would just recommend go to help, go to demo and training, and then sign up for the 60-minute billing session. Okay? Cool. So this is billing. We do process EDI out. We post ERA back. Um, this is our instant support tunnel. So we are just, con you know, we're in constant contact with you. We're obsessed with our users. Um, it's something we are... We actually don't have a chief medical officer. The 5,000 users and the 8,000 users now that we currently have, they have built the system with us, right? Um, so you can contact us at any time through this tunnel. You can also use the live chat. So we have a live chat that you're able to use as well. Um, yeah, okay. So now if I go, I showed you the instant support, the chat. Also, just FYI, we do have a really, really powerful knowledge base out there, and this is free. It's available to all of you. Um, it's got 
tons of templates, like pre-made templates, if you guys, all different specialties. Um, it's also got tons of videos and screenshots and copy and documentation and just helping you along this, you know, path. Because I know it's hard. It's like what you guys do all day long, so it's super hard. Um, yep, so that's just an FYI. We do all of your revenue cycle management. We're tracking all the money that's coming in. We're tracking all of the products and services that are going out. Um, we can do a little bit of marketing for you. We can send mass, um, you know, like newsletter emails. I see my doctors using these all the time because if you are like going on vacation and you need to hit all of your patients that you have an email on file for, with one click of the mouse with this out of office notice, you can hit all of those patients. So it's as if we're developing like a newsletter for you, okay? Last thing I really want to focus on for the website before we move to the iPad is your meaningful use requirements. Okay, so we are, a me you know, we did get the certification as a full EHR. Okay, so that certification is now ours. We can qualify our doctors to receive up to 44K in incentives, okay? So you should go to clinical tools. First of all, go to meaningful use reporting. Okay, because from there, you're gonna be able to track sort of what's going on. You're gonna be able to go, okay, you know, I got July 1st, and then I've got August 1st, and I'm gonna calculate how I'm doing. And I can check out this reporting here. I can see what's been met and what's definitely not been met. And then I can press on a link to see, okay, how do I find this thing in Dr. Chrono? How do I meet this? I've got pictures for you here. We've got documentation for you there. Everything's just sort of set up so that you, you just, you can't fail with us. That's sort of the vision, right? We want you to, if the, the government indeed is able to provide this for you, we want to help facilitate you receiving that. Um, if you go to the patient dashboard, this is sort of like, you know, high level overview of the patient's clinical record. I'd say about like 10 of the meaningful use requirements are met right through this interface. So definitely spend some time on it. I'm not going to spend too much time. Let me just show you though. Again, it's on your free account. Just go to clinical tools, go to patient dashboard. From here, you're pulling up a high level overview of the patient. You can extract this into an XML. You can extract this into a PDF to provide to them. You can also give them access electronically to this. Okay, so just by going to, it's a patient portal, right? So you, and this is on the free account, okay? So you enable access to the patient portal and you're giving them a username and password and they're logging in to their electronic health record. Okay, so they log in from the computer, they can see from the computer all of their information. So they can see a medication list, they can see questions, they can see allergies. Um, if there's some lab results, they can view all of that for themselves right from their home computer. Okay. Like I said, please, you know, go in and, and play around with this, really sort of dig into the product. We're happy to help you with any questions. And I can, if you really need some one-to-one -one training, I can even set you up with a training or implementation specialist, okay? So I'm gonna head over now to the EHR app. You saw the onboarding app, right? You saw the web-based practice management. Now I wanna show you your tool, like the doctor's EHR tool, okay? So a doctor logs in. We put this app out like a year and a half ago and we got 20,000 downloads within three months. So we knew like, whoa, this is definitely what the doctor wants. But all of the doctors were basically like, they were almost yelling at us. They were like, no, 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 like you have to do it this way, you have to do it that way. So we've iterated, we've now put out, I think it's 10 upgrades to our app and we've iterated very quickly and redesigned and tried to implement every inch of feedback. And now we're just keeping it simple, right? Very straightforward. Um, you saw me just hop into Michael's chart. So just like you would open up a, a folder, you've got your three compartments for Mike. So you have the history. Um, the history is every inch of clinical documentation that you ever created for Mike is now here. So you have x-rays, um, you have lab results, you have EKGs, you have MRIs, and you're viewing this from the iPad. 
Okay, you're actually able to see an x-ray from the iPad. And in our new app, in our new release of this, you'll be able to draw on these pictures. So like you might have an iPad 2 and you might be a wound care specialist and you're, you're going to take a picture of the lesion or you're going to take a picture of the wound and then do like before and after or something. And then you want to be able to draw on it. So let's just pretend that's what this is. If I now press free draw, I can take this and I can actually annotate on the image. I can draw on this image. Okay. Just one second. So if I take this here and if I'm like, okay, there is a problem here, right? This is what I'm working on. And now I can take this and I can actually embed that into the patient's note for the day. Okay, so now when I pull up the PDF that I've created as the note documentation, it's taking this image and, and sticking it into it. It's the same thing for diagrams. I talk to chiropractors, I talk to dermatologists, um, you know, even podiatrists. Uh, the, we span the spectrum in terms of specialty. And they all had this, P, this PDF, right, that they used to build out documentation. And they usually had a picture that they would mark on. So we're going to actually start letting you do that as well. So let me just give you a quick example. Yeah, and as I said, you guys are seeing this before the actual public sees it. So it's not live yet, what I'm showing you, and that's why it's taking so long because it's it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty wrapped up in development they're they're doing a really incredible job but now like this is one of our chiropractors he's actually out here in silicon valley as well and he gave us this form he's like hey if you can let me do this i'm yours you know i'm going to use you right so we were like all right no problem so we actually took this diagram and allowed him to upload it into his note for the day into his objective section and he can now fill out this diagram that he used to do on this piece of paper, as you can tell, it was a piece of paper. He can take this, fill it out from here, and then just embed this in his final note. So this was something that we thought was super, super powerful, and we're seeing it span. In terms of our user voice forum, it was actually the number one request. On if you go to build. Com. It is the, and oh, look, look, integration with QuickBooks is like, it's trumping it. It's coming. No, this is what I want. So our doctors, like, as I said, they have built, you know, they are building the system with us. And I really, 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 really am super passionate about the user. Like, it's all, you guys are the king, right? It's all about you. So go here. You can talk to all of our active users. We have hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands now of doctors that come to this site every day and that are telling us what to build. Okay, so feel free to go there as well. Uh, hold on just one second. We've got a little bit of background. I've got to put you on mute. All right, so let me kick out of here. I'm going to go back to here. Okay, so uh, let me show you electronic prescriptions. So I don't think everyone on the call actually prescribes, but if you do prescribe, then these, this is our electronic prescriptions module. And we do actually have checks automatically for drug interactions, so drug, drug, drug allergy, um, and drug formulary checking. You can choose the milligrams to be dispensed to the patient. And then I'm just going to type in my zip code, so I'll put in 94040, and I'll press search. The nice thing about this is that you're actually in the room with the patient. You're in the room with the patient. You're saying, hey, where do you want to pick this up? right so they can say oh I just can go to the CVS on El Monte that's all I, I that's the only place I can go because I you know don't drive or something so you can say okay you know I'm gonna take that pharmacy and then I'm gonna shoot the prescription directly there okay the only drawback right now f of our electronic prescriptions is that we don't send mail orders so I'd rather just be super transparent with you up front and say hey we can't do electronic mail orders yet it is something that we're working on in the future Okay, so I sent out that medication, and that's automatically added to the patient's med list. 
it's automatically checking for drug-drug interactions, for drug-allergy interactions, okay? And it's also adding to the patient's note for the day, okay? Uh, talking, so just as a great segue into the note, so our sort of, the, well, at least for me, I mean, like, whenever you talk to me, I'm always talking about the note. I think it's the absolute most important thing that we could have ever have done for our doctors is given them the ability to build out robust clinical documentation directly from the iPad. Because they want to look the patient in the eye. They don't want to be turned and, you know, typing in a computer. And it's, like, just ridiculous, right? So with the iPad, we actually let them take, you know, they, they used to have this PDF and they used to make markings on it. We're actually letting them take that and build it onto the iPad. Okay, so we're letting them take their question about, let's say, onset, okay? and building their own drop downs to describe onset. So this is completely customizable. But I'll just show you. We give you some defaults. Let me show you. Maybe sudden. Maybe I talk. Chief complaint runny nose. And it, yep. So it's actually taking this right now. And it, it placed what I said automatically into the patient's note. So that's speech to text. If anybody wants a free trial, I can give you a 30-day free trial of this. So just reach out to me. I can set that up, okay? So you saw it's just pointing and clicking, maybe talking into the iPad. You know, again, pointing and clicking, pointing and clicking. And then you've also got these buttons. So we give you 100 custom buttons. And you can name the button and then press the button to tell the button what to generate. Okay, so again, you name the button and then press the button to tell it what to generate. And these are 100% customizable. So you're making 100 custom buttons and they can be anything that you do a lot. So like, let me give you a really good example. I've got a neurologist who he actually, let me, do I have this one here? Hold on one second. Yeah, and you guys let me know if uh, you can hear me, okay? It, ju it did just pop up for me that I was experiencing a little audio trouble, so you just let me know. Um, let me just hop back in. Okay, cool. So our, my neurologist, he actually was really, when we put out the app, even last year, everyone, even when everyone was yelling at us, he was like, no, 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 I'm going to use this. I'm going to use, like, this is perfect, right? So the first tool we gave him were these buttons. And like he can, now he can auto-generate an entire normal exam just by pressing this button. So like I have an entire normal exam now in my PDF note. So it's processing everything that I, I just pressed one button and it put in this entire thing in the PDF. Okay. So uh, you can do this however you see fit. You can completely use, you're more than welcome to use our defaults. We're fine with that. But you can also take this and make it whatever you want it to be. And if you want to learn how to sort of take your note and make your own buttons, make your own drop downs, right? Make your own free text comments and then create this PDF. Um, you should definitely attend our training on note building. So if you go to help, and if you go to demo and training, you've got a 60 minute, and I do this every single day, right? You've got a 60 minute live demo of note building. And the whole call is just on you taking your note and building it onto the iPad so that you can use it, okay? I've also got a bunch of custom templates that I can send to you. I've got tons of doctors who have donated uh, chiros, psychiatrists, psychologists, wound care specialists, neurologists, orthopedic surgeons, um, nat naturopathic doctors, uh, exercise uh, like therapists or whatever, um, dermatologists, uh, the list is just ridiculous, podiatrists, right, pulmonologists, the list is very big and I have given you a, a pretty good library of these, like if you go into our knowledge base, Again, don't get overwhelmed. I know it's a ton of information, but I, I can send all of this to you guys. But you're actually going to be able to go into our knowledge base 
And like, let's, Dr. Bench made a kick butt, like a uh, Cairo template. Like this thing just blows people away. So he made this template. He shared it with us to open it up to the public. And they can log in. They can look at it and be like, hey, you know, this definitely looks like something I can use. And then they can press click here and they can load that template into their account. Okay. And they can use it as is or they can manipulate it to be more like theirs. Okay. So you guys, there's a lot of networking that we're trying to sort of start between doctors. Like we're saying, okay, here's my objective. I email you my objective. Can I have your RLS? Can I have your review of systems? Right? So from the computer, you can say, okay, this is my physical exam template that I've made, that I've spent an hour on. I don't feel like making the ROS. I know that we practice similar. We went to the same med school, whatever. You know, so you can go share this template email them your template, they press on the link, it loads, and then they can do the exact same thing. They can email you their template. All right? Cool. Yeah, so the note is super important to us. I told, Like I said, I've got all of these. I know just from earlier talking to you guys, you're all different specialties. It's across the map. Um, you know, we're more than happy to help you sort of build out this documentation. Okay? I have another question. Um, it's, can you help transfer our actual software information into Dr. Chrono? Um, if you're on the Apollo program, so if you're using us at an Apollo level, which is the $399 program, then we can do what's called a bulk upload. So you're on your software right now, and you can take your software that you currently use, and you can export a Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so you can take an Excel spreadsheet. And what we'll do is we will build patient chart. And I just, I noticed, I, I, I always talk to our development team. And the last one that they did was for 17,000 patients. And they were able to build you 17,000 charts. And I can't promise it will be done in a day always, but he, they were able to, to complete that in a day. Because we do actually assign one of our developers to oversee the integration to make sure that it's seamless. So, because it is, you know, health records, so it is obviously very important and very sensitive, okay? So, you upload the Excel spreadsheet, we will build patient charts from it, okay? Um, does anybody, uh, something else that I want to bring up to you, when you're on the iPad and I'm making this PDF on the iPad, this is also now accessible from a computer. So, this is huge for people who do, like, nursing home rounds or that go to the hospital, because you might see 20 patients, right? And then you might have to say, I have to leave 20 notes behind, okay? So you can go to the website and you can now take those notes and you can auto, like you can create a PDF, okay? So I can take this note that you just saw me make and I can create a PDF from it. And with this PDF, I can print it or also I, I we don't add features like crazy, I promise you, like to make it overcomplicated. We're trying to keep it simple, but I do have to tell you we're also adding faxing right from the iPad. So you're going to be in the app, and you're going to be faxing out, and then you're going to be receiving faxes in, which I, I probably sound like a little kid, but it's like this is, super, this is super important to our doctors. So being able to give it to you is really exciting for us. Um, but for the soap note here, you know, you can see that now I can print this. And now I can give it or leave it behind if I need to. It prints out a really, really nice, you know, piece of legal documentation for you. And if it's signed, it will it will timestamp and date the signature below. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I hope this is sort of making more sense to you now. I know that it's been a ton of information that's been thrown at you. Um, I have recorded the entire thing. So um, later on today, I'll take that recording and I'll transfer it to an actual YouTube video and I'll follow up with each of you and I'll send that to you. Okay. Um, yeah. But does anybody have questions? Yeah, right. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay. Well, I wish you guys well. Thank you so much for being on the call. Um, let me put in my yeah no problem doctor um okay so there is a question carmen are you there Hi. hey what's going on sorry to kind of put you on the spot what was your question
I know. That is exactly the idea. That's why we offer a free account. That is exactly right. Yes. So most of our doctors, like, they start with the free account and then they upgrade in the future. Because on the free account, if you just want to start using one portion of this, like, think of it. Like, I just told you seven different things that I wanted you to change in your day-to-day -day operations. It's not realistic. You can't expect to just, like, the next day be like, yeah, we're going to switch everything. I would... What you're saying is brilliant. Like, do it one thing at a time. And what I notice, just like by trend, is the doctor makes his note first. That's the first thing he does. Because if he can be happy with the way he's building out his note, then he'll sort of just be happy with everything. And for the office staff, they use on patient first. So I don't know if that helps at all, but I agree with you 110%. Good, 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 good. I agree with you 110%. And the idea of our system has always been like, we're not that EHR that's going to come into your office and be like, oh, this is how you should do it, right? Like, <laughs> why don't you change what you've just spent 20 years making work and, like, do it our way? We're like, no, 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 we want to be malleable. You know, we want you to be able to use us to make you more efficient. That's it. You know, you, however you want to do that, totally up to you. Um, cool. Yeah, go for it. What's up? Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish. Um, we actually, I, we can convert any data. You could be using anything. I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't confuse you. What I meant was, and I'm going to pull it up right now for you so you can see it, our, you have to be on a certain paid program in order to get that bulk integration. If you use all the 399 Apollo, if you use this one, then we'll do that bulk integration for you. And we'll also do your e-billing, your electronic billing. But, yeah. You see? Cool. And it can be any system, Carmen. Like, it can be anything. It could be Medisoft. It doesn't matter. We can build your patient charts for you. But you do have to be on this paid program. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Andrew Phillips. Andrew? What's Go for it. Those are hard questions. Those are hard questions. You have to say them, not me. <laughs> Those are rough. There are so many. I think there's 400 now. And if anybody can't hear Andrew, he... Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for repeating it, too. I'll repeat it for everybody as well. So... Andrew asks, you know, does Dr. Chrono, oh, how does Dr. Chrono apps and software compare to other applications? Um, and then it says, why should I choose Dr. Chrono solutions over others? Um, all I can say is that we were the first in the native iPad app space. So in my opinion, I feel like we are leaps and bounds ahead in terms of what the user wants. We've been able to sort of flush out all the nonsense, right? Like all of the sort of things that they think they want or like maybe this would be cool. We've sort of taken all of that and by listening to every single one of these users and iterating on the software, we're all wired up now. You know, we're ready to blow this thing out of the ballpark because we know what you want. We've listened, you know, we've come and seen what's going on. Like we understand how long you've been waiting for a system that will actually just do what you want and just be simple. So I think that that's our own, I think we're closer to our users. So to answer your question, what's different about us? I think that we are closer to our users, and I think that that says it all. Okay. 
Um, Stefan says, what's the difference between the Zeus and the Apollo? The Zeus and the Apollo, um, big, big difference is that for Apollo, when you get rejected claims or you get denied claims, it's really up to your office staff to sort of work those claims, okay? Um, so again, if you get rejected or denied claims, it's, op it's really your office staff that you, like they're responsible for working those claims. Um, for the Zeus, if you have 10 rejected claims, you can email support and say, okay, these 10 claims were rejected, help me get paid. And we actually will get on the phone with Medicare for two hours. Well, not me, not anymore, thank God. I used to have to do that stuff. But it, those, those calls are like terrible. You know, they're not hard, but it's like for an hour, you're just like banging your head against the wall with Medicare. Like, why are you not paying me for a service that I rendered? I saw the patient, how am I not getting paid for this? But um, but just sorry for the ramble, but if you were on the Zeus plan, you can take 10 rejected or denied claims. You can email those claims to us, and we will work them for you to get you paid. So that's the big difference. Whereas Apollo, that falls on your office staff or your biller, your office manager to call and say, hey, why are these not being paid? Okay. Uh, great questions. Great questions. Um, cool. So does anybody else have any other ones? Is anything else sort of kind of foggy? Like I said, I will send you a video. Um, and we do have all those other training sessions you can jump into. Yeah, someone said hello. Okay, cool. Okay. 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 That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. You have like really like practical questions. Why don't I set you up with a call with operations? Let's get you up and running. Yeah, let's get you up and running. S um, email me. I'm going to put your email in here. I mean my email in here. So this is my personal email, okay? Um, if you email me directly, I'll put you in contact with some implementation support help for you, okay? Cool. Yeah, just email me when we get off. Oh, not a pro my pleasure. It's really practical. It's like, all right, this is all great. The vision sounds awesome. How do I start, right? Cool. Awesome, man. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, no worries. All right, guys. So thank you so much. Yeah, you go for it. What's up? What's I only have six more minutes, but I am happy to stay with you for those six. So what's going on? It would replace it, yeah. Not that we don't think they're an incredible company, because my God, you know, like they rock. They are an incredible company, incredible. But yeah, that this would replace it. No. 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 Um, actually, Mac practice isn't web based, right? Is it server based? Yeah, that's huge. That's the probably the biggest difference. We've built our infrastructure. We're a technology company. Um, we're located in Silicon Valley. Our CEO is our head technologist. He, uh, he's the one in the beginning that built the whole app, you know, and then obviously now we've got a huge team. But in the beginning, I mean, this he's a technologist. He's Mark Zuckerberg, you know? So it's like he he's building you this product, and he's got this army behind him doing it. So we've built our infrastructure on a s system that can scale to the future. We're not on the descend, we're on the ascend. So I, that, and I know, again, it's like visionary, what's the practical difference? But that is a practical difference, is that our system, the reason why we were the only native iPad app for however long, a year, whatever, 
was because we had built the system on an infrastructure that would allow us to port to the iPad the iOS device very quickly. So. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, no worries. No worries. Yeah. It was really cool. This was, you know, I love I love letting you guys talk. I can't believe people put people on mute. You guys are so much more interesting than me just rambling. So, cool. Thanks for being on the call. And, um, you know, please shoot me an email if you have questions or if you have some sort of implementation, you know, things that you want to get up and running. We're here. All right. Take care now. Have a good day. Um, You're welcome. Hang on one second. I'm good. No.